Omicron is the dominant wave, accounting for 70% of the cases. Some experts say that Omicron peak has passed in India, while some believe that it's yet to come. What would you say? See, I will say that basically from if we will take two weeks back to now, the cases have multiplied nine times. If we were, you know, approximately two lakhs about two weeks back, then we are approximately 20 lakhs by now. Okay. So one thing which we have to keep in mind is that different states are at different levels of progression of disease. If I was to say that in Mumbai or Maharashtra, the number of cases have started declining. In Delhi, I will say that even the number of cases are declining. But you know, yesterday we had zero positivity of about 21.48%, which is still high. Though it is declining day before, it was 23% mm. plus. So that's where we have to see. And Maharashtra is over about 11%. So we have to see that, you know, monitor all the states in terms of decline. But you see, if you st see the states like uh, uh, Goa, or if you will stay, uh, see some of the states like Manipur or Nagaland, so there also we are getting huge number of cases. So every state is in a different period of pandemic. So we have to wait and watch with regard to number of cases, the positivity and all that. But again, we have to say that, you know, the samples have to be representative of the population. Yesterday we tested some 50,000 plus cases in Delhi and that's how I'm telling about the zero positivity. So like that way we have to monitor for every state how many samples are there, how much is the positivity. Then we have to arrive at the cumulative positivity which is you know and then we have to see that how much overall you know this positivity is contributing to the national scenario.